Nothing. Was there anything from the DNA? Nothing. No visible cranial or mandible deformity suggesting variant long QT. Oh. Yeah, I see it. The couple veins are separated. The scapholuminate ligament's been ruptured. Not recent, though. So we've got something. Old sports injury or childhood fall, maybe? I suppose so. If she fell on both hands. Hmm. OK. At least for joint injury. You can still see the displacement between the metatarsals and the tarsus. They're entirely symmetrical, hands and feet. If she was pinned down, restrained. Mr. Gilston, uh, your son, John. More bound. He was meant to come in with you. We need to test him as well. He didn't want to come. He doesn't like doctors. Ah. Nothing recent. No discoloration or bruising. Mm. They're very short. So are yours. I'm not 15. And you don't live in Essex. Looks like they were done in a hurry. Mm, by someone else, perhaps. What is it? I think it's paper. So what now? What happens in these instances? We keep testing them. Six month intervals, then 12 months. But if it never shows up and we don't discover any new indicators for this syndrome, we won't know. No. no. Not until one of them drops dead. Perhaps you should stick to dealing with the dead, Professor Dalton. <sighs> the stakes are nice and low. There'll always be stuff we don't know. Why are you so afraid of that? 